Hi, I'm Jim Shockey, and welcome to the show. 17 years ago, I stood on this spot wearing these clothes, including this hat. It was a little less worn in those days, and recorded the very first introduction for our television show called Hunting Adventures. Today, I'm standing here recording the very last introduction to the last show of Hunting Adventures, and it's with mixed feelings that I am doing this. It's, uh, it's been an amazing ride, it's been an honor, and it's been a pleasure to share with all of you those adventures in so many different and exotic places around the world. So today, we're going to look back. It's a retrospective of 17 unbelievable years of our television show called Hunting Adventures. When I first came up with the concept of hunting adventures as a television program, I remember the response from the first people that I passed the idea by, and uh, it, it was 100% it won't work. They said it wouldn't work because at the time, we're talking 20 years ago, hunters were only interested in turkeys and white-tailed deer. This is what everybody told me. And I said, I don't think so. At that time, I was writing adventure articles for hunting magazines that 35 years ago, everybody said wouldn't fly. No one wants to read about what they can't do themselves. They want to read about whitetails and turkeys. And 15 years, I'd, I'd uh, written articles about travel and adventure and uh, the spirituality of being in the wilderness, the wildlands. And it worked. I, I was publishing at that time you know, up to 30 articles a month, one a day I was, I was producing and writing and, and people were reading it. So I couldn't see why on television suddenly it would be the same thing that everyone told me back you know, 15 years before that and uh, that the viewers wouldn't be interested in seeing something other than turkey hunting and whitetail hunting. Hi, I'm Jim Shockey. Welcome to this week's show. We're going to Africa this week. We're going to Tanzania to the home of the Maasai warriors. You better put on your long underwear this week. We're headed up into the high Arctic to hunt with the Inuit for the most dangerous big game animal on the continent, the ice bear. <laughs> oh no, you didn't have it on? And a jerk. He's right in camp. It's a bear and I said, where? They said, whoa, he's right. He, he was right beside the igloo. What I told them was hunters are hunters and they will appreciate a good hunt, regardless of whether the video is about hunting a turkey, a white-tailed deer, a moose, a bear, or a mouse. I'm working on my collection of smiles. <laughs> if you bring the hunters with you, if you take them on the same journey so that they feel they're with you on the hunt, experiencing what you're experiencing, they feel the cold, they feel the wind, they feel the despair when it's not going well, and they feel the joy when it does go well. They will watch. It doesn't have to be about a specific animal. It doesn't have to be about a certain way of hunting for a certain type of animal. It just has to be about hunting, and it has to be true to what hunters and hunting is all about. 20 days. If I seem a little disheveled, it's because I'm, it's just overwhelming. Huh? Your first bear. Sonny. <laughs> that? 16 years old, first bear. So what do you think of that? Good this, hunt, is, Jim. this is a trophy week this week. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> next <laughs> next year, me hunter. That's one of the rarest things you'll ever see is a snow leopard. Wow. <gasps> that was almost snow leopard lunch. <laughs> 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 I told you I could do it. 